Hey guys, Will Patterson here again with a new tutorial on Illustrator now. I've been doing Photoshop tutorials for a few uh, weeks, so I thought, you know, I'm going to go back to Illustrator because you guys seem to love these tutorials. So anyway, we're going to work out, I've had a few comments asking how do you make things have patterns or grunge effects or textures even on um, shapes in Illustrator. Now there's loads of ways to do it, but I found an easier way. Now you know the way that I do uh, patterns and I'll try and show you if I can find one um, basically I make patterns I'll bring it over here through this you can see that I've got a pattern here and it's not well it's a texture and it's basically just erasing it out with a brush in Photoshop that's how I did it there but what if you wanted to do in Illustrator right so the first thing you'll need to know is that in Illustrator you'll need a shape to do this so this is a shape in Illustrator and I'll zoom in so you guys can see this is a shape with an illustrator that is a texture and these are all live shapes and you can scale scale this to as large as you want or as small as you want without losing quality uh, so you need to be able to get these shapes now in these shapes i've got this folder it's called think design subtle grunge vectors now i've got them in my google drive here and um, you can see the readme thing and these are the term conditions i'm not going to redistribute this but you can get this from thinkdesignblog.com and it's a freebie uh, and if you go there you can download it and basically what you do is you open up your right click I'll do it again sorry you right click open with Adobe Illustrator CC you can bring it up and it comes into this sort of place here once you've done that you want to go and drag this into your current document like so and now this is too large for the texture we want so we're going to go ahead and bring this down a bit and depending on your computer this could take a, a bit of time or this could be um, a bit of a process to do so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and press alt and just duplicate this around a little bit not everywhere um, but just to cover the place a bit and we've got that done now what we need to do is we need to select all of these then go to your shape modes and just press minus front this could take a second even for me on my big computer it's um, deleting lots of information now you won't be able to see that but I've got a progress bar here and then we've done it right now you can see that you might not be able to see there that it's done much but it has if I just hover over it it's actually deleted a lot of the selection and if I zoom in as well you can see that it's got a subtle grunge vector and this will look great in your Photoshop designs when you and now you can just copy and paste it pressing command C and then command V into uh, Photoshop and it'll look absolutely amazing and grunge up for you beforehand so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure you click like and all that sort of stuff and I shall see you in the next video goodbye